to another vlog. Woke up this morning, just felt like, you know, we had to get things done today. We're gonna make today productive, as in really, really productive. We gotta first start with our cup of coffee, get us going, and try that. We need to refill the coffee. Can't film until later though. Gotta wait until dry. Then wakes up. It just spilled some of the coffee grounds. Oh shoot, it's the wrong scooper. We also have some editing. We need to get back to some emails. A little bit behind again with emails, but it's okay. We're gonna get through it today. We almost forgot to warm up one of the most important things to go with the coffee, ube pan de sal. This one is from Valerio Bakery. I love anything ube, but I only eat half every day. And then normally I'll give Jonathan the other one, put in the toaster, and it's like perfect with a cup of coffee. You could dip it into the coffee. It's my ritual in the morning, coffee with an ube pan de sal. Look at that. Ooh, she pretty. I get more scared as a damn grown up. This ain't a hookup. We could just burn up. I, I, I feel you so close up. I'm so sorry if I close up. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> At least we're finished. We have our coffee. Ube pan de sal. Now we are going to get some work done. I actually have to edit for the second channel the vlog from this past Monday. If you guys aren't subscribed to the second channel, would greatly appreciate it if you did. Um, it's just more for adrenaline stuff, you know, stuff like Six Flags Magic Mountain. We have to be finished at least by 12 because a set schedule for the day. Just when I think everything is going according to plan, there is a small hiccup, which is probably gonna cost, what, like another 40 minutes. One of the clips, the rides at Six Flags, I think I accidentally hit Time Warp 360. So now I have to readjust all the footage, but it's all sped up. Now I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, unfortunately, so we are not gonna be on track for today. We gotta take a little break because we are having a challenge doing this the past week or so. So we'll see who wins. I'm all around the road too, right? That was horrible. I had zero. Right, yeah, zero. Julia's over there on FaceTime. Well, since I didn't make any, it was between Jonathan and Darren, and Darren on the second round made zero. Jonathan made two in, so he won. Good game, guys. Good game. Where's the sportsmanship? You guys were supposed to say good game. They didn't even say anything. We are starting to film. I almost forgot to turn on the light. Filming in progress light. I do that really quickly and before I forget. There we go. Filming in progress. Finished filming this look. Very excited. It's more of like a try on haul style video. Very affordable products. I uh, really love the way how the makeup turned out. Not even gonna lie. Really, really love it. I would actually rock this, you know, anywhere, even going to Six Flags. Before we head out, which we need to freaking head out like now because it's already six. Just wanted to share with you really quickly an item that I purchased and um, I'm not really like too happy with it. So, um, you know, you guys can also gauge if this is an item that you wanna purchase or if you're gonna pass on it. Remember in two vlogs ago, I believe it was like 
what I've been up to vlog, something like that. Mentioned these beautiful blush pink studded sandals and they are absolutely gorgeous. Love how the rhinestones are also, or rhinestones, love how the studs are also blush pink and they fit perfectly. It's a size five and a half, right? So in that vlog I was mentioning, I was eyeing another pair but in the bone color so i decided to pick it up it was just not my cup of tea it's just i don't know i feel like it's very dull looking in my opinion i don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings in case they have this pair of sandals here's what the bone color looks like it's not even like a cream yes it's called bone and yes, it is like the color of a bone, like a dinosaur. In the picture online, it looks a little bit more like creamy, uh, like a creamy color, but this is just very lackluster, very dull looking. It's just not appealing, not my cup of tea. The blush pink, all for it, but the bone color, we are returning it. But you know what? I gotta stop talking, let's head out because Nordstrom Rack is gonna close at seven and it is now 6.15. Go return these. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to meet you. Hi, thanks. You can return these. The receipts in there. Perfect. Going back to your visa. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Since we do have a little bit of a cushion, I'm thinking if we should go to Five Below, since anyway, we were here by the Boba Place, and the Boba Place closes at 9. I think Five Below closes at 7, and it's only like, I think it's like 6 45, 6 50. So, Technically, we have 10 minutes to spare. Let's go hit up five below. I think they're closed. Ah, they are, damn it. They're only open till six. So we got our boba. This is Darren's. He just got a milk tea regular with extra boba and then I got a taro boba frap blended with boba and lychee jelly bomb let me give this to Darren really quickly and then we'll chat such a nice treat I haven't had one of these in a very long time normally or actually I've had a taro blended but not with boba or lychee jelly in a while it's been a while mm. However, you guys know when we get our workout done later, we're gonna be hurting, but it's okay. Anyway, was really disappointed that Five Below was closed because you guys know with the price of gas right now, how insanely expensive it is. It's like if you're already in a specific area, you wanna at least try to maximize your trip there. If we had gone earlier, then I at least could have gone to a couple different stores that were all in that same city. Times like this, makes me really miss my 1997 silver honda civic which i had for a very long time i think it was the beginning of 2021 well, i can feel like a little feel a hair we sold it for a fairly good price pretty sure the person who purchased it was gonna fix it up lower it i wanted to do when i was really into like you know fixing up the cars like back in the day i always wanted to modify that car lower it tint the windows change the uh stick shift like the gears even the pedals but it never happened it's basically stock but the amazing thing about that honda civic number one it was a manual transmission let me just say if you know how to drive a stick shift I gotta give it to you because manual transmission there's just nothing like it switching those gears on the freeway pushing that clutch that gas pedal balancing it out it is freaking amazing i miss that car and number two is that the honda civic was incredible with gas and they really don't make honda civics like that now and it's also very rare to see a stick shift car i'm gonna go ahead and just savor this delicious taro boba with lychee jelly we're gonna clean up probably get some other stuff done and then i wanted to also share like something else a little bit later but we gotta take care of the situation first it is uh it's actually 10 o'clock right now I finally psyched myself up to get today's workout done because all that boba lychee taro slush is like 
Whew, girl, it's just kind of making me want to go to sleep. Before we close out the vlog, I wanted to share with you a quick unboxing. This is from a brand called Palor. I hope I'm pronouncing the brand's name correctly, but they are vegan and cruelty-free. I love how on the sticker, it's even personalized. This package is for Christine's next wash day. Happy hair days ahead. Ooh, okay, hold on. It says, Hi Christine, I'm so excited for you to try Pallor on your next wash day. I hope you treat yourself to some self-care soon. P.S. Use your Spotify app to scan the barcode on your mixtape and jam out. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We believe every day should be a great hair day. Yes. We are so excited for you to try our greatest of all tones, AKA GOAT, blonde shampoo and conditioner set. It's every blonde's best friend and most reliable hair pair in your hair care routine. It includes a violet pigmented shampoo that provides an intense anti-yellow toning action, a violet pigmented conditioner that tones, hydrates and softens your strands all the way up to your scalp. Blonde conditioner, goat's greatest of all tones, argon plus hemp seed oil infused, cruelty free and vegan. Blonde shampoo, goat's greatest of all tones, argon and hemp plus hemp seed oil infused, cruelty free and vegan. Hair care is so important. It wasn't until I had my hair ruined a few years ago and I had to basically like cut it super super short i'm pretty sure you know if you've been here since like 2016 you guys remember when my hair was like so damaged after that whole period of time it uh, really made me realize how important it is to really take care of your hair and to treat it with love because <laughs> Yeah, it took a very long time for it to actually, you know, for it to grow out and for it to be healthy. We have here, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Look, they like sent over this, uh, it looks like a CD and it says Christine's Tone and Tune Playlist. We're calling it Goat Hot 100 Playlist of the Year Pallor. That is so cool. So you scan it, is that what it is? Do you scan it right here? Let's, let's actually try it together. <gasps> that is so nice. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see it, but it says Tone and Tune. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. It's cute. It says it's Christine's wash day toning in progress. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to put this on the door, you know, whenever, you know, I just want, I don't want people knocking on the door or whatever. This is so sweet. This was extremely thoughtful and so out of the box. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you so much, Pallor, and I will definitely give you guys feedback on these products. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm gonna go get my workout done and probably go to sleep so that we can wake up bright and early tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out for this Sunday vlog. So, so appreciative of all of you for sticking around to the very end for watching this vlog. Your time is greatly appreciated. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening. If you enjoyed hanging out and enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next vlog.